Hello everyone, I'm Fiery Ice, and today we will be carrying on with the D&D adventure. I shall introduce the players. Today we have Matt. Hello. Dean. Hello. Josh. Hiya. And this week we are missing Gabe, who is very tired and will be joining us midway through the session. Um, oh, the next part as videos go, but later in the session for us. Um, <laughs> uh, so last time we were doing things we were the party began by waking up at the uh, making their way back to town um, then they went they had a sleep at the inn Sorry, my brain is not working today, so do bear with me during the session, because I will probably be making quite a few mistakes. <laughs> so the party headed back to um, town um, and had a sleep. They then got up the next morning and dis were joined by Erisin, who came rushing in, seemingly slightly worried about some news that he needed to tell the party. He informed them that um, Arnold's body, um, Arnold being um, one of the residents of the village who'd gone missing, he informed them that uh, Arnold's body had been found outside of town in some woodland. Uh, the party decided to be able to, decided to investigate Arnold's body, finding out that it been cut in a similar way to previous bodies had been they'd found, but it was also seemingly drained of life, for a better use of words. They then decided to head out towards uh, the where the body was found, and found a dagger that was lying on the ground. The dagger contained some information saying, detailing the belonged to the uh, or had been made by the Golden Forge which the party then found out was is the blacksmith in town uh, which is run by the Golden Dragonborn they decided they should ask about where this dagger came from figure out if Zagoth was involved after asking a few questions they found out that the dagger was part of a larger set of um, metalwork that had been made bespoke for uh, Warivar, um a noble that are uh, noble and other things which the party don't know about yet. Um, that sort of lived in a um, lived at Rose Point Manor, which is a large manor house. Um, several miles out of town. Upon finding out this lead, they decided to head out towards uh, the manor, taking Bialair with them, who Erisin had decided to let um, out of his care and into the care of the party. The party then uh, party made their way to the manor um, on the way uh, Angel spotted some movement in the gardens but couldn't determine what was making the movement but it seemed strange that there would be movement at a place that was abandoned carrying on the road they eventually came across the body of a caravan member from their caravan Jorosos and uh, Kali remembering this they decided to have a look at the body finding that it seemed to seemed very gaunt seemed like the veins were protruding quite a lot seemed very sickly so they decided to proceed with caution heading towards the manor spotting Jorosos spotted some movement inside uh, Kali decided to um, 
Use Mage Hand to open the door. And the party headed inside. However, Angel managed to somehow make some noise. Perhaps it was the clink of one of her swords against the door. Something. At which point they heard movement from the left hand room uh, as they entered and just as Callie was about to open the door a woman opened the door pretending to be some sort of servant of the house or some such after that failed a fight ensued and that is where we're going to kick off today we already have initiative, initiative rolled from last time and to start off today, it will be Bioware the Wizard. Played by yours truly. Yes, as Gabe isn't here, um, Josh will be playing him today. So, mm -hmm. just to give a brief Alpha recap, Manish. you've got... You'll have to zoom out on your map a bit, but... You can see that there's an upstairs and there's a downstairs. Um, so the upstairs you've got like this sort of veranda that wraps around the um, downstairs hallway with a large sort of would have once been quite opulent stairs leading up. Uh, on the left hand side you've got three doors. You've only seen you've only seen inside one so far, and that would seem to be some sort of lounge or some such with a piano and a couple of chairs. You haven't seen into the other rooms yet. Um, and to your right, there is another door that leads into somewhere. And currently, you can see two enemies. Ooh. And I shall leave it for you guys to do what you need to do. So, is that enemy visible to Bioware? Yes. The, like the front one? Yeah, okay. Everything that is visible to you as players is visible to Bioware. Okay. Like, it, it probably just about to be able to see E. It'd be a very tight, it'd be very hard for him to see, but. No, technically, you wouldn't be able to see from that angle. <laughs> Things about it. You'd be able to see C. You see. <laughs> see, see, you see. <laughs> nice. I see seashells by the seashore. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, Bylair is going to like raise his hands as though he's going to like, you know, Emperor Palpatine someone. And he just wiggles his fingers when faced with such a terrible fright. Streaks of light, I bid thee take flight. And he casts Magic Missile. Cool. Which I need to pull up in my little uh, bell tool. Right. So, three going on to Magic Wars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna send all of those darts at. Uh, Mr. E. Mystery. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, should he say C? Because he can't see E. C is that. C is this guy. Right, Mr. C then. Part Callum. Uber. We'll go for Callum. <laughs> Callum. <laughs> sure. Perfect name. Sure. <laughs> Not that we would know it, but yeah, perfect name. <laughs> Cad. His name is Cad. You vile Cad, take this! Ah! <laughs> uh, right. So, I'm a, I'm a roll to hit for all of these, right? Um, I don't know how magic missiles works. <laughs> I'm Let's sure see, someone here does. 
You create three it more is. cards. Each dart hits a creature of your choice. Oh, no, it's an automatic hit, I think. Yeah, I it is. Just 3d4 plus 3. Right, well, you know what? I'll roll that through... Uh, I'll roll that through roll 20. Roll 20. The, uh, I believe it's... I need to show the audience the map. <laughs> 3d4 plus... Damage for one guy. Ooh, 12 damage. That definitely hurts him. Uh, nice to see. Violet will just see it hit and like successfully do damage and he'll be like, oh my goodness, I usually just use that to zap pots and things. It worked, you guys, it worked! It worked! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to send you the quick thing on his personality now. Um, Am I doing a good job without that knowledge? Kind of. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I forgot to send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a loop. He likes to entertain people, so he'd be like very flamboyant and, aha, a show. Angle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turns to you and speaks to Elvis. You're hurting my ear holes. Please be quiet. <laughs> you don't know how many people in this house are manor, by the way, either. <laughs> but... This is true. <laughs> um, is that everything for Mr. Wizard Man? Uh, I don't think he can actually do anything else. Yeah, no, he's used it. he's used his action, so yeah, that's it. Cool. Next is D, who will move. See what's going on. Twenty five. We'll use that as a bit of cover. And then we'll uh ch -ch -ch. what will we do? What will she do? Because I, I was actually prepared. Definitely. Um, Press X to doubt everyone. Mm. Yes, very. <laughs> um, so that is going to be. Uh, yeah, use the crossbow. <coughs> use a crossbow from where she is. Mm -hmm. um, does a 17 to hit. Oh, I should have said it would have been Jarosus. Because big enemy in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to say who I was aiming for. <laughs> Does the 17 hit Jorosos? 17. I think that just hits. Let's see. Yeah, that just hits. Cool. So 17 will hit. Uh, four. Five damage. You sort of. You see this sort of half elf woman rush out, see the situation unfolding, put out a crossbow, and from sort of behind the banister, it just shoots a crossbow at you. And it sort of hits into the side of your shoulder. Uh, and that is all it can do on its turn. Is. Uh, B is dead. A is also dead. G will. G, G will move to a slightly better position. And. Shoot down from the balcony above. With a. Um, I think they would probably aim for Jarosos because big enemy. <laughs> Scary line man. <laughs> oh, it's a 17 again. <laughs> Ooh. 17. Yeah, well, that'll do it. Uh, three damage this time. Like, you just see some poke the head out around here, but upstairs. Mm -hmm. and then, fire down on Jorosos. 
before sort of ducking back to try and get a bit more cover again. Um, Angel, it is your turn. Okay. Well, being right behind my allies probably imposes disadvantage. Right. So I'm going to come over here and shoot the one with the crossbow. <laughs> uh, shoot which one? Um, here. D. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, yep, you may 18 shoot. 18 to hit. 18 will definitely hit. <laughs> that was an 11 plus 7, if you were wondering. And 1d8 plus 3 damage. 9 damage. 9 damage to D. Cool. That right, will do that much. Excellent. Yep, yeah, that. So, if you shoot the... It's just a regular bow, isn't it? Yeah, long bow, yes. You shoot it, it sort of hits into her side. She sort of screams out in, she sort of shouts out in a bit of pain before looking at you with anger. Uh, is there anything else that you wish to do on your turn? I could move up very slightly to be in line with my allies. <laughs> Cool. And that's it. <laughs> oh, excellent. In a line. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I should do. Uh, Jorosos. <laughs> Jorosos rips the bolt out of his shoulder with just like a, a mild grunt, tosses it to the floor, then slowly, like, Darth Vader walks up to this this half elf woman, <laughs> and then he just leans in. My fleas deal more damage than you do, and then he's gonna swing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may swing. Ooh, that's a twenty-one to hit. Yeah, I mean, that's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's a, that's a D8. That's eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, yep. Uh, no, I just added an HP. <laughs> No. Well, <laughs> um, yep, that definitely hurts her as you swing the the sword in to her side. Um, is there anything else on your turn? Let's see. I do have some bonus actions. Oh yeah, I should have bonus action right now. I'm. I'm actually raging, so that should have been like plus two more damage. So not eight. Ten. Yeah, Does that make a still difference? Standing. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, he's going to daunting roar. As a bonus action, once per short rest, creatures of your choice within 10 feet that can hear you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you until the end of your next turn. What effect did that one? Uh, what are the rules specifically, Josh? Just within 10 feet, or is it like that can within see 10 you? Feet. Yeah. That can hear me. Can they just hear. have to hear me. But the, yeah, 10 feet. I think they would just be out of range. Yeah, they would just be out of range, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yep, um, what do I need to do? Wisdom saving throw, plot. Two wisdom saves. Yeah, like, saves. A after he says that little one-liner about his fleas, he's just like... <laughs> so, that'll be... D nice. 
I'm going to go in alphabetically on these. So C got a eight. That's a fail. So she's frightened. Uh, yep. Oh, and that was an, an 11 from D, I think. Sorry, I think I said it the wrong way. You get the idea. Yeah, that's also a fail. So they're both frightened of you. Uh, that just means I think they have disadvantage on attacks and they can't move closer, is it? Yep. Cool. So. Well, let's actually see. Condition. Right. Disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. The creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. That's everything. Um, Kali? Um, yeah. It's your turn. Uh, yeah. Kali will kind of look over to the all these people walking out uh of this this these multiple doorways yep <laughs> does it kind of move over next to angel uh and then she'll she'll kind of look over uh wave her hair or wave her hand and her hair will kind of flare up for a second so it goes from this dull dull glow you can barely see to a little bit of an intense uh light for a minute mm -hmm. Uh, and then, in a twenty-foot radius uh, around this uh, this guy, so affecting all these. Yeah. Cool. There's a slight, just, um, just the lightest uh, feeling of warmth wash over them uh, as I cast sleep. Oh gosh. Big uh, one. Um, you, I th you cast, you cast. You roll Sleep. some dice. <laughs> yes. So that means I get to roll 5d8. Oh, nice. 24 total. So how this works is there are 24... Uh, so ascending from the lowest HP creature, yep. you subtract from the total height HP until they're at zero. If it hits zero, they go unconscious. Is it, is so, it based on the current HP or is it the... Uh, it is on... You go with the lowest HP... The yeah, current but... lowest lowest current HP. Right. Then current you move on HP. to the next cool. current lowest current HP, and then you you keep subtracting. So it's not like all of them have twenty four. It's the first one is twenty four, and then if they fall asleep after like three HP, uh, then it's twenty one HP. And if the next one has less yep, than twenty one okay. HP, they also fall asleep. And just yada, yada. I just need to know if it was total or current. <laughs> yeah. So I shall roll a quick percentile dice to work out. Because is it just a is it a like it affects a the lowest sphere? HP target first and then it will go on yeah. is it, to the next lowest HP and then the next lowest HP. It's a sphere, right? This is uh, sleep. Yeah. So uh, it will knock them unconscious. No, no, uh, it's the sort of it's a sphere radius. Yeah. Right. Cool. I'm gonna roll percent old ice for something. <laughs> it's anything within twenty feet of this yeah. point. That's why I need to roll. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, you see, you see C fall asleep. Uh, yes. I keep forgetting D's there. D falls asleep, having looking very injured, seems so just, for whatever reasons, falls asleep. Can you put a symbol on them just so I know which ones are which? Yeah. Like, maybe like this. Yeah, cool. Uh, that one, and... You hear a thud upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just hear as something seems to fall over. You're not yep. quite sure. Just those two. Yep. Only those right. two fall asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Clever spell. <laughs> yep, it's a nice one. It's a, it's a good one, that one. That is uh, about my turn, I think, yeah. Okay. I'll stay next to Angel. 
Yeah, okay. It's not getting away next turn. Right. Um, oh, and then they stay asleep for a minute or unless someone uses their action to shake them away. Right, I see. Cool. Or take damage. So, yeah. Excellent. Um, E's go. Where on earth is E? That's E. <laughs> He's not frightened or anything. Um, he will. What is the range? Is it 30 foot on a crossbow? <laughs> Ooh, just out of range. He will move forward five feet and shoot his crossbow at. I guess. <sighs> no, he'll do it at Joris, so he needs to get that angle anyway. Um, Does he have disadvantage because he's shooting through people? I know that's a rule we've used. Well, I'm not sure. That, that is, that woman is currently on the ground asleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly if she was still awake, yes, <laughs> but she's. <laughs> Currently on the floor, asleep, uh, and we'll shoot Jarosos for a eleven to hit. That does not hit. Um, they will then. What they do? Yeah, they would go five, ten, and go back there. Um, also, I need to reveal a bit more because you will see this. You'd be able to see, Callie, you'd be able to see probably about this much. I see. Alright. Cool. Uh, and yeah, that is. There you go. Next it is C. C is Friend of Jurassos. <clears throat> so, timidly attempt to shoot at him. <laughs> mm. Right. More of like a, oh, get away, big lion man. Um, so it's disadvantage. I don't know if that did the disadvantage. No, it didn't. I shall roll again. Nope. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, very. Just sort of typically try to shoot hand shaking and it just sort of hits the woodwork at the side of Jurassic and then he goes oh, he goes right, 10 and shut the doors behind him <laughs> frightened of Jurassic you think that flimsy Block of wood is going to stop me, boy. You just sort of hear. <laughs> um, F. <laughs> F does not do anything. <laughs> okay. I need to. I have read it. Cool. Uh, it's back to Bile. Let's. He can't really see what's her face because she's asleep, right? Like, or would he have like advantage well, of like a missile spell? Magic missile will automatically hits anyway. Yep. Yeah, but. Hmm. Ooh, yep. Wait, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Um, <clears throat> I, I like ideas. I, I need to look this spell up, actually. Uh, yes, I can definitely remember all the spells that I gave this guy. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, which. Idea. Oh, I, I love this idea. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, 
Violet Air, like, thinks for, like, a couple okay. seconds. And then, like, let's see. Give me that ruler. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's so cool. Right. Don't forget that the guy's only, behind the door. He only needs to move five feet, but... <laughs> You're gonna love this. So, Bilair uh, basically just moves up by the others, and let me see if he's in range now. Yes. So, right there. Uh, oh, let me move back over to select. Right there. Yeah. He's going to conjure a minor illusion of the sound of Jorosos' roar behind this guy. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> Roll me, um... Just roll me a straight... <sighs> what would it be? Um... Deception. <laughs> I guess deception would work. <laughs> okay. No. Uh... Roll a straight up intelligence check for this guy. <laughs> Let's see. It's not bad. <laughs> what is deception? Is that wisdom or intelligence? Um, deception. Deception. Charisma. Charisma. Yep. Deception's charisma? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a 10. Oh. What's so. that? <laughs> You're just here. I will have no more of your tricks. Bugger. <laughs> Why couldn't we be fighting stupid bandits? <laughs> We're not smart. <laughs> 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 Seems to have realized what was going on. <laughs> oh, that that was that was a really good idea. I like that. That was I like that one. Yeah, I loved it. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. My D twenty's like, not today, motherfucker. That was that was an excellent idea. <laughs> yeah, sadly he doesn't have anything else he can do. Cool. So he'll just he'll just sit there and pout. <laughs> uh, I think that is yeah. That's D. D will not do anything. <laughs> uh, B is dead. A is dead. G will. Uh, Jarosos is not really in a good line of sight. How is one that's cast a spell? Angel's been shooting things. He knows what shooting yeah. things are. So we'll probably fire on Angel. Ooh, okay. Um. Um. What was that? That was a. Ooh, that was a natural twenty. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, how much damage is that? That is nine. Uh, that is eight plus Oof. sixteen total. That was pretty okay. Cool. I've effectively been one sorted because I have oh, sixteen right. HP. Oh, you just see him look down. He seems to grunt at the fact that Jarosos isn't really in a good position for him to shoot. He's realised that Angel has been shooting stuff. Angel, as <laughs> you pull back, ready to try and take your next shot, just feel this sort of thud. You sort of feel this sharp pain into sort of the front of your chest. And you just feel like you feel your eyes roll back and then you fall mm. back. Okay. 
Uh, feel free to use something that would represent being unconscious. And okay, that would also be a constitution save, I think. For I'm going to put that. It means attack. I'm well mobilized. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for Cali and Jarosos, you just see this arrow hit Angel, and she just falls back. Mm. From the pain. Mm -hmm. So you, so you want me to make constitution death saves, basically? No. Um, a constitution <laughs> save. This is for injury checks. Ah, okay. Constitution save is a nine. Uh, that is a fail because it is DC ten. Um, just okay. for the audience at home, the way it works is, it's a DC of ten or half the damage, whichever is higher. So in this case, it was 16 total damage, which means it would be eight, which means it would be a DC 10, basically. Yeah, so uh, I failed. Need a straight D20 roll. Um, oh. I need to bring up the rules. Uh, I need to... <laughs> Search through some things. So, I keep forgetting that I actually you need, need this document. <laughs> you need me to do the flat D20? Yes, please. And then uh, bear with me because okay. I actually need to scroll a long way. <laughs> yes! Unless, yes. Josh, you can resend that um, document over. Hmm. I'm actually happy with what I rolled. Uh, Not 19. <laughs> I think you're pretty safe with that, um, <laughs> from what I remember. Um, yes. Yeah, give me just a second. I need to pull up my uh, my documents folder. That's the music folder, not the documents folder. <laughs> so I keep forgetting to save it anywhere. It's annoying. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, well, I'm sending you the PDF, so if you misplace this, that's your fault. Ah, thank you. I go back to current, and then I need to. But yeah, nineteen is like minor cuts and bruises. It's it's nothing bad. It's like yeah, it's just <laughs> cuts and bruises. That's gonna mean a completely separate thing, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I think 19 is safe though. I think it's just cut some bruises. I think someone was trying to tell you that. Sorry, I, I was kind of <laughs> thinking about something else at the time. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, well, I'm thinking about quite a few different things at once. <laughs> Right, cool. There we are. And I now have that. Excellent. Uh, yes. Cut some bruises. <laughs> so, you are... You'd suffer no further consequences. Right, there's just a wound where it hit him. But you are unconscious. Uh, and that okay. was G's go. Oh dear, it needs to be a death save, please. So that is a flat d20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause... Oh, I can't exactly count that because it's sword between 18 and 2 and he re roll it. Yeah, re roll. <laughs> what do you call that cocked? Yeah. The dice was cocked. 16. <laughs> that is one success. Okay. You may mark a success. Jurassic. I have done. Cool. Yeah, seeing uh, seeing Angel go down, Angry Lion Man is going to get angrier and then stab down at the sleepy bitch. Yeah. Which I believe is an advantage to attack prone yeah. target. And incapacitated. So it's a crit. Or no, they're unconscious, so it's a crit. Yeah. If it hits. 
Right, well, that's a four for the first roll. And a 14 for the second roll. Actually, no. 14 plus 6 would be dirty 20. Yeah, it, it, she's very much dead. <laughs> I keep... God's sake. And, Sorry. I and then pressing. he'll, like, he'll move up to the door. Okay. You're Dick. next! Okay. Uh, is there any bonus actions you would like to use? Uh, yes, actually. Jorosos would like to use Second Wind for gain 1d10 plus 1 HP. Cool. You may do that. There's my d10. Come here, d10. Be nice to me. What? Oh, you fucking piece of shit! I only got four HP back. <laughs> oh dear. Re. Oh yeah, I also need to mark. D is. <clears throat> D is for dead, very dead. <laughs> <laughs> she had one HP left. <laughs> Bit of an overkill, but there we go. Um. Okay, that is everything for Jorosos. Uh, Kali? Uh, Kali's going to frown at Angel going down and be like, Angel, are you alright? Uh, and that is going to be me casting Healing Word. Okay. As a bonus action on uh, Angel. So Angel immediately gets 4 HP and is brought back to consciousness. Yeah. Oh, thank you, so... Can I just mark, mark all my successes now, based upon that? Yeah. Um, you're also you're probably just put currently oh, prone, say. if I had to guess. Yeah, you would be prone. Uh, and then I'll walk up here and see what I see. You walk up. Uh, yeah, you can walk up there. Um, I will start to reveal this area. Uh, I'm just going to bring another Cali over there. here to remember where I am. So basically you can see... This area now. Alright. And that bit as well. So you can hey! See. Coming for you next! <laughs> <laughs> at this guy. Uh, and that's going to be a uh, told the dead at him. Oh. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw or take two damage. damage. <laughs> I will make a wisdom save for him. Um, wisdom save. That is a natural one. Uh, yeah. That is two damage to G. It's angry halfling marching up the stairs <laughs> towards him. And obviously this elf over here is the one who's knocked out. That's yeah. where you heard the thud come from. And as you walk up, you can sort of see through the banister. You can see mm -hmm. a human woman lying on the floor. I have a new icon for prone <laughs> on my character. Yeah. You're no longer unconscious, so you don't need the thing either. Yeah, Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah I you are awake. The prone I... But I do need the prone icon. <laughs> Probably cough up, cough up a little bit of blood as the healing goes through you or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, anything else on your turn, Kelly? Uh, no, that's as far as I can move. Yeah, that is an excellent turn. Uh, he is that guy who will. Turn. Fifteen. We'll move up to Jorosos. And seeing that Jorosos is distracted, we'll um, make an attack. There's no advantage or anything, but. It does an 18 hit. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, that is going to be. Ooh, that will max damage. Seven points of 
damage, but you are raging, so therefore you take half. So you round take Rounded up or three. rounded down? <laughs> yep, you always round down for damage. So it'd be three okay. damage. To Jerosus. Hmm. Yep, you take three damage. Oh. I just got that back, damn it. <laughs> oh dear. Next is C who is Is the raw st raw still affecting him? Oh, is there any sort of Let's rules? find out. <clears throat> um Until the end of his next turn, so no, the roar would not still be affecting him. It's like <laughs> well, that's the end of my next turn. The end of Jorosos. His being Jorosos. Alright, I see. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this guy will open the door. Be like, Why did you just roar? Well, <laughs> stabbing you. <laughs> With his weapon. God, I'm... I feel bad because I'm rolling really well today. That's a 17. <laughs> yeah, that'll just hit. How many just hits is that? <laughs> Three. Three from four attacks on Zorosus. Oh, yeah. What is Zorosus's... Um... 17, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> AC 17. <laughs> Man. Press plate and shield, baby. Like, you're taken slightly by surprise by the fact that this guy's opened the door. You're like, hey? <laughs> As you feel a sharp cut into your side. Uh, and f that will be halved two damage. Yeah. I should be taking half damage this whole time because, like, raging gives me resistance. Yeah. That's yep. what I'm doing. <laughs> Just making sure. Okay, cool. Jurassos right. will just reply to why he roared. Where I come from, that roar signifies death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it? Um, F is that one who is asleep. It is Bylair's turn again. Yeah, Bylair is going to look at the dude in the door. <laughs> Oi, you were a bit too clever and ruined my fun. I don't like you. So he just magic missiles him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I believe Magic Missile automatically hits, so that is 3d4 plus 3. Cool. Slash R, 3d4 plus 3. Ooh! I love damage! damage. <laughs> Damn, I almost rolled 4 damage. Full uh, damage. Is... 4 damage. <laughs> uh, uh, by document. Um, see. Ah, I will give you the chance because it's sort of like. Yeah, you can you split up with magic missiles as much as you want. So that would be. Uh, let me just look. I think the first two would do enough damage to take this guy down. So that would be. 5, 10, yep. So the, the first two magic missiles will take him down. Um, you can have the other one direct to someone else. Yeah. The three will direct the other guy next to Jorosos. Okay. I just imagine, like, the bolt, like, sailing towards the guy, yeah, and then, like, as he falls down, like, it just zips into the other guy, because <laughs> the other guy's dead. Uh, so it just, nice. like, air breaks, hits the other guy. He takes that much damage. I need to switch my light up, because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that is 
So it pulls into C, you see C just sort of fall down. I keep right clicking instead of just normal clicking. So C is down now. Uh, also, I shall reveal a bit more for Jorosos. Since you stood in the doorway, you would see probably about this much. You can see that it appears to be some sort of dining room of some sort. With a large table and quite nice looking chairs um, set around it. Or oh, would have once been nice looking chairs. But they now look a bit um, tattered and worse for wear. Anything else for Riley? Uh, he will probably... I'll say he'll move into some kind of cover. Like, maybe like, you know, take cover at the stairs here. Okay. Cool. That is everything for him. Um, D is dead B is dead A is dead G G will move a bit further down right, 10, mm -hmm. 15, 20 we'll move down to here and then shoot at Kali as the most obvious <laughs> enemy Yeah, that is charging towards him uh, and we'll hit with a crossbow bolt with a 14 to hit. Uh, no, Callie kind of has this little buckler on her other arm and she kind of parries the bolt out of the air. You just sort of hear him curse something in this is uh, half like, man. You just hear well, him I guess, say something. I in guess Elven. if you don't want to hurt, if you don't, if you don't want to fight, I can kill your friend. Most of over the unconscious person over there. <laughs> Thelma, wake up. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with that name. <laughs> it's a good name. I'm hunting Callies. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, me. Sure. Um, uh, is that, that is everything for that guy. I was about to ask his, if that was everything for Cali, but it was his turn. Um, Angel, it is your turn next. There's not very much I can do here being prone. I mean, uh, it's it just half, half your movement to get up, that's yeah. all. Half movement, stand oh, up. Okay. okay, so I stand up then. Um, where do I want to go? <laughs> Sir. You can walk the stairs and shoot the guy if you want, or you can shoot the other guy. Hmm. So you can, if you're looking at the right hand side, you can see the guy up on the balcony. Um, I guess I get to here. And yeah. you shoot at the guy on the balcony. Yes. Okay, cool. You may shoot. I saw. With a dirty 20 to hit. Yep, that's gonna hit. <laughs> you manage to thread the shot straight through the middle of the two sort of banister sort of railing things. <laughs> and I done the most damage I could do. 11. Yay! 11 damage to G. We'll take him down to that much. That seems to do quite a decent chunk of damage to him. Like you see the shot going and then you see a good amount of blood start trickling down his side. Let's see. Um, is there anything else you wish to do? Mm, there's not much else I can do, really. Okay. You have any spells? You're a ranger, right? I don't have any ranger spells at level two. Oh. Well, I only have one cantrip. But ranger's and got spellcasting at second level. Well, not on beyond it doesn't. Oh. 
<laughs> so yeah, my card was done, basically. Okay. Um, Jarasos, it is your turn. You've just seen the guy that was through the door. You've just seen these magical bolts hit him and he's gone down. And the guy next to him has also taken some decent damage. Jorosos just looks to the dead guy on the floor, looks back to the other one. Aw, I was hoping to kill him. You'll have to do. <laughs> and then he's going to uh, use his sword and clickety-clackety, he's about to get attackity. Excellent. <laughs> That's 11. 11? It's a hit. Yep. Yeah. Five plus six. Yay! This die is... This, this, this fucking D20 loves me today. <laughs> no, it doesn't quite hit. <laughs> Not quite. I right, swing through and he just sort of steps back nimbly away from you. As the sword swings into the thing at the side. Uh, anything else, Jorosos, would you like would like to do? Let's see. He's used all his bonus actions that he can use. So, yeah, no. Nothing he can do. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, Kali, it is your turn again. Alright. Uh, I'm going to... 5, 10... Which I guess I'll delete that token and move my original token... Yeah. All the way over there. Through through there. Yeah, you said 5, 10, that. 15, 20, 25. And I'm just shorted this guy. Uh, so like, you know, it's a bit rude to run away from someone with short legs. <laughs> uh, but that doesn't matter. And then I cast told it that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wisdom saved from him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is Ooh. a five. That is, a that is a failure, and he takes 10 necrotic damage. Okay, um, that is 2G. That is enough to for him to die. You just sort of see his skin shrivel up as his legs give way, and he falls back as he's back pedaling. If you're right, and she'll turn and start walking back. <laughs> But I've used all my movement, so yeah. <laughs> you just turn around. <laughs> Very happy with yourself. <laughs> um. Cool. Uh, any bonus actions or anything? Uh, nope. Okay. Cool. Uh, e is. E is alive. <laughs> Um, and will attempt to hit Jurosos, who is in front of him. Um, uh, what am I doing? I don't want to be there. Also, I need to actually be there. Um, uh, that is a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. That, that'll do it. Uh, that is another two damage to Jurassos as he nimbly steps back and then quickly steps forward in a stabbing motion and manages to just get beneath the shield. Stabbing you in the leg. Uh, C is dead. F is asleep. It is by last turn. Dodge this, you knave! Last second level spell slot, magic missile. Or, wait, no, this would be first. Yeah, these are first level. I forgot cantrips don't actually count as spell. <laughs> yes. I only made him. I only gave him first level spells, I think. <laughs> from what I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Magic Missile is a, yeah, so last first level spell slot, Magic Missile for another 3d4 plus 3. And then plus 3. 8 damage. 8 damage. Such shite damage. Yes. You did roll well last time. Uh, and that yeah, is on. No. E. So he's gonna take that dude down to that much. So you see, pummel this magical force seems to pummel into him again. And yep, uh, and I think that's all he can do on his turn. So D is dead. B is dead. A is dead. G is also dead now. Angel, it's your go. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna come upstairs and join Callie then. Yeah. So I've done 10 feet to get there. I'm gonna have to zoom out the board to get my yeah. <laughs> character across. Oh, I've lost it. Nice. Oh, Girl, found power. it. You found <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah, so. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, I need to mark this guy. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, I should probably Five. describe the space to both of you since you both can see now. You yeah. can see there are several doorways, right. yeah. um, a couple of which are open and seem to lead into um, what looks to be bedrooms. Mm. Uh, looking around the space, you see one door which says study and that would be mm. this door mm. ah the one I'm right next to yeah, you just see it, it just says the word study uh, I'll say that one's knocked out uh, tie them up or something I don't know <laughs> that is a female I... human okay I look at you and say very well <laughs> And I get some hemp and roll put out of my bag to hide. Yep, uh, I take it you want to... I take it you want to interrogate this one later. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Yeah, just... Uh, <laughs> just I also uh, prefer not to kill people if that's <laughs> the op an option. <laughs> so how much... rope do I use? Uh, don't this? worry about how much rope you use too much. I'm not going to be too harsh on that okay. cross. <laughs> no. It's easy to pick rope up whenever you go to any sort of major settlement. Um, hmm. Just make me a straight up athletics check. Just see how well oh, you do the... Uh, I suck at athletics so that's good. <laughs> no, uh, no. Um, what do you say for tying up <laughs> ropes? Would it be sleight of hand technically? I suppose it would be more sleight of hand. Uh, that's... that's how I've seen it usually ruled, yeah. yeah. That's good because my character is at least competent at that. <laughs> 13 total. How does that do? Yeah, I mean, you think you've got a pretty decent sort of. You think you've done a pretty good knot on the ropes and stuff like that? Okay. Uh, I shall also reveal a bit more. You would see. This, you can see about that far into this room. Um, and you might also be able to see. You can also see a little bit into that room. Uh, I will just reveal that room because Cal, you walked past, so you would have seen in there. Yeah. Pretend there, yeah. Are, there is bathroom stuff in that room. <laughs> yeah, oh, got it. I Good didn't look. have props. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I mean,. Ingle used her all her movement going up the stairs and tying up the yeah the woman. So Ingle's I turn is done. You had the black and white checkered floor, but you had no problems, no toilets or anything. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't quite catch what you said, Josh. <laughs> I, I love how you have like. I, I love how you had the black and white checkered floor, but yeah. You, you couldn't 
you couldn't have any of the any of the furniture for a bathroom. In Canada, if you are watching, please add some bathroom props because they would be very useful. <laughs> I mean, they exist. You just have to pay premium. Twenty five dollars a year. <laughs> I already am. Wait, you are. All you have to do is just look up sink and toilet. Then they exist. <laughs> I've only got modern ones. I want old ones. In Canada, please. You've Actually, got classic you know what? props. Incarnate, if you're if you're like if you're watching this, I swear to God, at one point I saw a privy, a privy stamp, and now I can't find it anymore. So if you removed it, why the hell did you do that? Put it back. <laughs> And funnily enough, after that rant, it's rant tur boys turn next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jorosos just suddenly feels the urge of being very angry at the lack of facilities. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, how bad is this dude looking exactly? He's looking... Uh, probably about half health bad. <laughs> Blooded, yeah. Blooded, but I don't know. Okay. That's what I like to call it anyway. He's gonna he, he's going to attack with his zippos. Cool. He's very he's very upset right now. <laughs> That's going to be a nineteen to hit. Yes, a nineteen will definitely hit. Oh goody. Come on, D eight, don't let me down. Ooh. That's a 11, actually. Yeah, that's 11 damage. 7 plus 4. He's down. He's... He's dead. Yeah, so Jorosos just grabs this dude by the neck, slams him up against the wall, and jabs the Zippos into, into his, like, straight into his heart. And then just leans in. Justice has been delivered. Just yanks it out and then just coldly drops him to the floor and slings the blood all over him <laughs> like just slings the blood off the Ziphos onto him as you stab it in and you're getting close you just feel a slight splatter of blood onto yourself as you put into the yeah. major arteries <laughs> zero fucks about giving it on to, getting it onto him like he zero fucks <laughs> he does not care <laughs> and that is that guy dead and that will be the end. Oh, I clicked the wrong menu. <laughs> that will be the end of the initiative because everyone is either dead or asleep. Mm -hmm. Right. Which means it's time for a change of music. What would you like, ODM? Um, I guess explorey, mystery type music. Um, I do that. Yes, oh, you saw. That makes sense. Uh, eventually, this one wakes up and goes, What? Let me go! Let me go! No! <laughs> uh, this one's elf, yeah? Uh, or a human. half elf at least. Oh, human. This Never mind. Human. <laughs> I keep getting confused because of the tokens. Yeah. We will let you go if you adequately answer our questions. Yeah. That sounds good to me. What, what do you want to do with me? Uh, we don't want to do anything with you. You're the one who attacked us. I never why'd, you do, why'd, why'd you do that then? I never attacked you. Yes, you, you did. Technically, she didn't. <laughs> she never got an attack <laughs> off. <laughs> well, you and your friends attacked us. <laughs> that is an accurate <laughs> statement. <laughs> yes. You're being interrogated by association. What do you want to know? Why Why are you here and why did you attack us? This is two good questions. I was hired. I was hired by... someone that called themselves Smoko. Her again. Her again. <laughs> Um, what was the second part of the question? 
Why did you attack us? We we must defend. We were we were told to defend. Please, I I didn't want to kill anyone. Hmm. Well, yeah. That's what true. Exactly. Are you defending? The project. That's how I know. It was just referred to as the project. Very I just don't well. suppose you know any details upon this. All I, all I knew is that they wanted people alive. So we, we were sent out to capture people. Speaking of, was a black Aarakocra in a cloak with a scythe brought in recently? I have not seen such person. Gonna make insight <laughs> on that. Yep, you can I'd make like insight. I'd like to find you. <laughs> I got an 18 total. Okay. Eight. Okay. <laughs> Fucking eight. <laughs> at, least I, at least I got semi good on it. Uh, Cowie, if you're wishing to do it as well. Is Cowie still there? Dean? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I don't need insight. You're not going to do it. <laughs> no. Okay. She seems genuine. All right. Mm. Who's it that got the 18? Myself. You got 18. Yes. Yeah, you think she's telling the truth that she hasn't seen anyone. That doesn't necessarily mean they're not... That doesn't necessarily mean they've not been taken here, but... She hasn't seen uh, death. Hmm. Well, that is quite concerning, Gilles, then. Where else could he be? Did any of your allies or Smoko say where they were going next? I don't know. All I know is that they are brought here. Or... Somewhere in some other village, I don't know. There has to be something a cellar where they operate out of some sort of secret basement or some such. Hmm. To be honest, I'm intrigued by this room called study. Maybe we can find a journal or something in it that could give information. I'm going to explore that. Out of my way, Zorosos, please. <laughs> Zorosos will just step aside and let you pass. Uh, that is not the. That is just a normal room. Oh. That is a bedroom. I thought you said, uh, <laughs> this I thought you said that was the stud. This oh, one. This one. Okay, I'll leave my character there for you to open up. It is the room is locked. <laughs> oh, okay. I whistled to Zorosos. Think you can take over, take this door for me. <laughs> Zorosos just fucking like big boots the door. <laughs> uh, make me a strength check, just a straight up strength. Straight up strength. Not athletics. If you can justify it. <laughs> Like, he, he's just straight up big booting the door. <laughs> yeah. Go on, I'll let you use athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Good, that's a dirty 20. It would have been an 18 otherwise. <laughs> dirty 20? <laughs> yeah, after a couple of kicks, the sort of door frame starts fraying. The wood starts fraying, and then it opens it up into a study. You can see there's a sort of nice looking desk which has like some 
paper, maybe some letters on there. You can see a sort of like worn and sort of damaged chair. It seems like quite worn, quite old. You can see there's a couple of bookshelves. Um, yeah, there's not too much. Just think of like a sort of like a posh house, like they would have some sort of like small study to allow them to do the <laughs> business. You just hear Jorso's just like give an annoyed grunt. I can't read the chicken scratchings of this realm. Leave it to me. <laughs> and then I investigate the papers on the desk. Yep. Um, oh, you don't need to necessarily roll. Um, Let's so. see why we've got if I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you can. Yeah, so you have a sort of a little look around at this um, desk. I need to open my notes. Uh, let's find the correct area. Uh, I've got a lot of notes. Right, so, yeah, so you sort of look around, you can see there's a number of different bits of paper. You see a book that seems to have some strange diagrams of some sort on it. You're not quite sure what it is. Seems to be some sort of maybe a magical device of some sort. But not really sure. Mm. Like even with a check, this would be alien. <laughs> I keep it in my... I keep it in case I find someone more intelligent upon the subject than myself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just mark down um, book about Laravar device. I think is probably the best way to do it. Ooh. Um, Can my character... Or... Mm. Mm. You wouldn't... Okay. It wouldn't have any name. It would just have... Okay. It's, a, it's not... Cause... It's quite a thin looking book. Um... Might not make okay. pages make in it. Sense of it? Hmm? Would Bialair be able to make any sense of it? Because he's come upstairs as well. He seems quite pleased with himself that he, that he's just, you know, murdered people with <laughs> his little magic missiles. <laughs> yeah, just make me a straight up intelligence check. Okay. For him. Straight up intelligence for him. Yeah, just see if he would be able to get anything out of it. Oh, it's a good thing that's his best stat. Will this be Arcana or just straight up intelligence? It's kind of. It's not really magical. Well, no, it is. I suppose Arcana, yeah. I suppose Arcana would probably work. Oakley Oakley? Bugger fuck. It's an eight. Three plus yep. five. He doesn't know anything, anything about it. Like you show him it, and he, it just shakes his head. I, I only know some simple magic, some spells to allow me to defend. Um, Very well. Thank you for trying to help, anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, as you're looking around on this desk, you also find some sort of letter. Um, there's a there's a closed letter uh, an, an, a closed letter an, an open letter then there's also a letter that is actually um, laid out at the centre of the desk seems to be like the last thing that had been read here I guess I examine them very dumb if possible yep um so you look at the uh, open letter first, and it reads, Lorivar, the operation was successful. They never suspected a thing until it was too late. I will deliver the first batch of prisoners soon, ensure that the cell is ready. There are more than we were expecting. I will bring the other four tomorrow. As per our arrangement, I will keep the rest as prisoners, uh, the rest of the prisoners, for my experiments. And it's marked S. Mm. 
My character has a feeling that S is Smoko in her head. Uh, I'll also just copy that and paste it into session. And I'll copy and paste that into my diary. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I say, there was also a unopened letter as well on the desk. Yep, I'll read that. Open it and read that too. Because <laughs> I'm curious. It's... So, yeah. so it just says on the front, you just see the word, the name Smirko. Okay. And it reads, where are the... It's sort of like a sort of quite sort of jittery writing, like seems quite sort of not very well written. <laughs> like mm. it seems like quick hand movements and stuff like that. And it just reads, where, where are these prisons you promised two days ago? I'm run, running low on subjects. L. Is marked as L. Mm -hmm. So my character assumes that's horrible. <laughs> you can assume what you wish. <laughs> that's your Are you going to copy so. and paste that too? Correct. Yes. And go and put both of these into her. Does she say anything to anyone else? thing. <laughs> Hmm, I see. Like, does she read them out or anything? I digest it, I basically say. That warfare whose dagger we found is still alive, and I ask, Do you know of a warfare to the person we tied up? No. <laughs> I am going to make a deception <laughs> check. Okay. Uh, deception is intelligence, I think, from a right way. It's charisma. It's charisma. Yes. And I will incite you. I rolled a natural 20. Yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, you absolutely beat me then. Yep. You believe her. You believe her that yes. when she says that she doesn't. Kelly would then walk into the study. Uh, like, all right, if you know some one thing about these nobles is that they like their money, they like to hide it around. So there's clearly, definitely something around here. You can definitely find some money. <laughs> uh, she'll like start like looking under the table, yeah, give touch, me a... feeling, feeling the walls, see if there's any hidden passages. Give me an investigation check. <laughs> Ooh, 16. 16. Yeah, looking around. Um, you sort of, like, look underneath the desk and you can see... You sort of, like, push on one of the... Sort of, like... You pull one of the drawers open. And... Uh, not one of the drawers. You pull one of the cupboards open. And you can see there's a safe... Um, hidden behind this door. Ah, now we're talking. I just look at you because I'm on the opposite end. What have you found? Oh, <laughs> safe. Oh, probably money oh, here. <laughs> so I don't know how to open a safe. I'm not too trained with that. Would smashing it work? Uh, no. Depends on how strong you are, I guess. Well, safes aren't traditionally made out of wood and you can break them down. They're more of reinforced metal. You need a dexterity tots, not a strength tots. Allow me to try. So well, can I've I... done all I can do. <laughs> so can I try and do something? Uh, yeah, I mean what would you what would Angel try to do? Describe it to me. 
like you can see it's mm. a safe there's just like it's a fairly simple safe it's just got a, looks like it's just got a lock like a key lock oh interesting doesn't have any sort of fancy turning stuff like numbers or anything uh. okay hmm <laughs> I have a really unorthodox solution that I thought <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so we get an arrow out, cut it in half with one of our sword swords, and then try and use the blunt end of the arrow that suits us cut as lock. a lockpick. Okay. Um... <laughs> what on earth would this be? <laughs> I guess it would be... Give me a sleight of hand with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming every day of the week. <laughs> I have a DC in my head. <laughs> well, can't get any worse than that. So, oh. <laughs> I almost did actually. I got a three, then I rolled a four. <laughs> so yeah, bet worst I got is six total. <gasps> You sort of start trying so to. You, you stick the end of the arrow and you start trying to twist, start trying to do it. You sort of feel the wood snap. But there's just enough left that you're able to pick out the bit that snapped off. Luckily, okay. it didn't. Luckily, the bit that snapped off didn't jam inside the hmm. lock. Well, I did all I could do. I mean. I could try again, but there's always a risk Daryl gets stuck in it next time. Mm. Yeah. I mean, everyone in this room can make me um, just a general investigation check. See what you can find. Yeah. Yay, negative one! Let's go! Oh, help Angel with this one. Oh. Eleven! I rolled an 11! <laughs> so you're helping now. me investigate. Okay! 15, then... Dirty 20. Thank you, Callie. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was it again that you got, Josh? I rolled an 11! Oh. We are best friends now! <laughs> um, dirty 20 from you, Angel. Um... Looking around yourself, just like just because you're curious, you start looking at the books because they catch your eye. Yeah, of course they do. Uh, most of the books seem to be on sort of like seems to be a mixture of like some training, like training records, things like that. Sort of like Mac and Howell, um, things like servants did. Um, various things. There's also like um, financial um, records, like showing the amount of money coming in, the amount of money going out. You can see like how much like, is being paid to different people. Looking through the records, all the records that you find, like all the different types of money and everything, all stop two years ago. It just the record keeping just stops suddenly. I, I can say that. Hmm. The records here stopped two years ago. The exact, roughly the exact time they said the, the family died or disappeared. How wonderfully convenient. Yeah. You said that letter you found had the name of that guy, so... It didn't have his name. It had the first initial. I'm making it as a solid assumption at this point. Well, the other letter you had had his name in it, though. No, both letters no, it were did. just... At the beginning. Both letters... Yeah, oh. like in the session. Yeah, it... Ah, yeah. 
it's addressed to him. <laughs> I, I, yes. However, don't know if this is two years old or not. It's difficult to tell. However, it would be weird to be left on a desk when people were here. Hmm. I mean, I will say that you did notice there wasn't any dust on top of it. Like, ah, okay. Quite a lot of this stuff has like a small layer of dust, like it's been left for a good long time. Okay, so rewind, play. <laughs> <laughs> well, the letter was fairly recent. Have every reason to believe this war for is still alive. Makes sense. I think we should take a rest here before continuing to explore. Before we do that, though, what do we do with the human woman? I, I we find... just keep her tied I up find... for now. Hmm. Once we're done, we can let her let her go. I guess. Could we at least give her sympathy to give her something better to sit on than the stairs? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Ingle says that very sympathetically. <laughs> Uh, where do you put her? Mm, let me have a look. I mean, you do know that this appears to be some sort of bedroom because you accidentally walked in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess that's where we're going to be resting. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I, mm -hmm. I, I guess if you look on the ground floor, perhaps on the sofa downstairs, it's like she's a guest. <laughs> And so, using just whatever. Oh, that's chisel. Like, yeah. Yeah. That looks like a sofa to me, but you know. And it'll just move her over. But it but the backrest only goes a quarter of the way around. <laughs> I see. Also it was marked as a chaise on um what I call it? Um incarnate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> then do you come back upstairs? Yes, I go back upstairs. Oh, she probably shouldn't leave her just on her own. Hmm. We should arrange some kind of rotation. I mean, or I you only just need rest to there for ourselves. Hmm. I don't think we're resting all night. I just need a moment. Could Jorsos block the door with the piano? And nice. Yeah. Like, just wheel it out and then, like, you know, slam the door shut, turn yeah. the piano up against yeah. the door. Yeah, it takes a few minutes to do it, but yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah. Jorostos being the strong boy that he is doesn't need much help with it. Okay. Um, then I think we would like to take a short rest if possible. A short rest. Okay. Yeah. Just an hour. An hour. Cool. Where is he resting? Oh, he's alive. <laughs> I'm an I'm here. Everyone at home, welcome Gabe. Hello. Oh well. I need to the make The dead a... come alive. I need to make yes. a couple of rolls. <laughs> so rest of the rolls. I'm just going to make three rolls, see what she got. Mm -hmm. Okay. During the sort rest, I recover any hate P. Uh, yeah, you can roll hit dice. Yeah, you just roll hit dice. Um, I don't know how many hit Where dice do you, you have. Where... Um, you would have... Ah. I don't know how many hit dice. Ah, 1d10 total of 2, so that's 2d10? Uh, you Let's can roll, you roll, I mean, the way that I'd recommend doing it is roll a d10, it's d10 plus your con modifier. Okay, so just d10 then because okay. I got plus zero. <laughs> so, but I do need some back, so I'm hoping for yeah. a fairly decent roll here. Yeah, the way that I'd always recommend doing it is do it one at a time because then, okay, basically, if you get yeah. like a 10 on the first one, it's like, do you want to use a second one? So, 
<laughs> so you don't know where you Funnily buy enough. it. Funnily enough, I did get a 10. Yeah. I mean, it's still to you if you wish to roll again. Um, you can add your constitution no. too. Um, That'll... Yeah. If I add the constitution, it'll still be 10 because I got plus zero in constitution. Ah, okay. But 14 yeah. out of 16 is still pretty solid. My character's sealed up. Feels yeah. fine. And you get half back on a long rest. Half your level back. So yeah, that's how they work. I'm gonna make one more roll. I don't need to use them because I have not taken damage yet somehow. Mm -hmm. Can't everyone... This entire campaign. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs... Everyone can... Uh... Except Gabe, obviously. Um, can everyone make me a perception check? Yep. Yes, sir. Where are we now? Oh, there's my mandatory every session, not one. <laughs> 14. Okay. Jurassic and Callie. You're pretty sure you just heard some glass smash. Oh, the window. What was that? Probably heard smashing and escaping out the window. I heard nothing, but we should check it out. You guys seem to have better listening than I do. <laughs> Over distances. Right, this would probably be like Probably about 10 minutes after you started resting. Mm -hmm. hmm. So my character wouldn't be fully healed at this point. <laughs> no. Don't worry, you will get your um, short rest, but this is just a quick thing. <laughs> uh, what do you guys do? Are there any windows, like, over here? Like, outside? Yes, the... So you rush down there. It's like a large sort of circular window that's like above the door. Like just a yeah. Right to let. I'll take light. a look outside. You look outside. See, so looking from that angle, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't see anything from that angle. <laughs> no. <laughs> you look out. You look sort of across here, you look across to here you can't see any sign of movement from those angles alright well she's probably broken out of that room and ran off if I had to guess so how much do we care about that I kind of ask everyone it seemed trustworthy to me, but I guess she's just broken it. I don't think she was trustworthy. Hmm. She could return to whoever runs this demented operation. Tell them about this. Or she might cut her losses and run away. Do we want to take that risk? Oh, it's up to you. She's getting away as we speak, though. Jorso's ponders for a moment. They might have death. I'm not taking the chance. Jorso's doing? Jorso's is going to go downstairs. You go downstairs? Yeah, he's going to go downstairs. He's going to tear the piano out of the way. You look at the... Yep, you move the piano out of the way. You walk in. You just see some ropes left on the floor. Yeah, so he's going to go over to the window that's broken and see if he can see her. You look out. I mean, there's thick undergrowth, not far outside the um, building. 
you look around, you can't see any movement. He's just gonna shout out, If I ever see your face again, I'll disembowel you! You hear nothing <laughs> in return. Yeah, so he's just going to trundle back upstairs, quite annoyed, and get back in the bed, bleeding all over it and yeah. everything while he's there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the sheets aren't very clean anyway. I'll say that much. I. <laughs> Yay! I wanted to get some tetanus. It's quite like everything seems quite muddy. It doesn't look like it's been cleaned in. <laughs> you don't know when it was last cleaned. <laughs> like this bed's probably also like the mattress is probably also like rotted away in the, in the woods. So like Jorah Sosa like rolling around in discomfort before the bed just breaks under his weight. All I mean, the friggin' the... dry rot. <laughs> It still seems like it. The frame, at least, is um, strong. Still, right? You can tell that it has been used. <laughs> um, yeah. Does I'm everyone? I'm starting else? to question how good of an idea it was to rest pit. Uh, do you guys take your short rest? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just finish yeah. up here. I basically say to Zorosos, Look, I'd love to help you, but I'm doff. Still fully feeling myself. Please, at least still allow me some time to get back to myself. Okay. Um. So Joris is just going to sit on the bed, bandage himself, lick his wounds. Like, he'll lick his wounds like a typical cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was complete short rest. There doesn't seem to be any more movement from any of the building from what you can tell so yeah you all managed to complete short rest um, in terms of time it would be oh Gabe since you're here yeah can you make three constitutions uh, let me just double check what it needs to be uh, da -da 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 -da. where is this thing there is. Uh, I need. Uh, yeah, so make me a con saving throw, please. Oh, all this? Oh, just that. So it's con six. Um, so, actually, I'm keep gonna keep it a. Um, Secret what's happening to you. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so I need to roll. What did I say? You take. Uh, I'll just do this in roll 20. You take a pint of damage. And that is also reduces your maximum hit points by the same amount. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I need you to make two more con saves, please. Ooh. Nah, 20. Nah, 20. <laughs> Over 10 would be nice. Hold on. Yeah. 
You okay there? Uh, you said con two more con saving stairs? Yes, please. Okay. And then... One more. Ooh, Ooh. dear. <laughs> All of them are failures. Good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, what's the box? Good, good, you've got that much HP. Yep. I'm glad you've got that <laughs> I much. I can't imagine it's a lot. <laughs> Death, you are not feeling very well. <laughs> Probably not. And. By the way, your hit point maximum is also reduced by that 11 as well. Ah. Oh. Yeah, of course. Guess, guess, guess whose max HP is 3 HP now, guys. Don't get hit by more than 6 HP. <laughs> oh, dear. That is not great. <laughs> I'd say, just to say, like, do you want to start exploring? Us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once we're done. Uh, in fact, is it worth taking a quick five minute break? So we've been. All right, thank you. I'm hungry. Um, I'll go get food. Yeah. I'm going to we'll, get drunk. Yeah, so for everyone at home, we are going to take a quick five minute break uh, and we shall return with them exploring the house. Oh, goody.